happy world MSME day, everyone out there <laughs> listening to us and <laughs> sitting here at the studio. Happy to host you, and um, we will definitely have a great discourse. We've been talking about some of the strategies that the government have put in place. I know that Nigeria moved up a few places as well as in the ease of doing business. So Nigeria moved from the 145th position to from 168 to 145th. And we hope to move further, according to Perbeck, to top 100 by 2020. Is this achievable in our current economic climb? And how will it directly impact these small-scale businesses that we're doing? Mr. Dirichu, can we have your thoughts on this? Well, thank you, uh, Madam. The first thing I want us to really address, we need to look at challenges we have. Okay. When we have the challenges resolved, then we can just reach that stage you are talking about. And in Nigeria, just to say, we talk too much. We don't want the talk. Uh, if we are going to address the, the, uh, the challenges that we have, then uh, that thing can be achievable. Mm -hmm. Number one, government policy, we have to get it right. Like I said somewhere last week, at times, like my doctor said, I thank government, the president, or the uh, our leaders, they mean well, but people that go to carry out that policy, it's like maybe they don't understand or they want to frustrate the program or they, because maybe they are not in the know. Because, for example, now we are talking about ease of doing business in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And you can see what uh, NAVDAC is doing, increasing the tariff by all, over 500%. Something that's supposed to cost us 27800 it has now moved to 84000 And government is crying about ease of business. So the policy has to be right. Then funding has to be there. Regulatory compliance issues have to be addressed. I don't know why we have a government agency two or three doing the same thing in Nigeria. It's not like that in other country. So the environment has to be more conducive. We have to talk of market. We have to talk of technology. We have to talk of uh, research and development. We have to talk about, uh, about uh, entrepreneurial uh, development skills. These are not there yet. Mm. So we have to really address all those issues if we are going to be there. Thank you, Mr. Adoroji. Um, Mr. Adoroji. <coughs> Mr. Olawi. Yeah. Yeah, like about... NASME, okay. NASME, 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 NASME members yes. Yes. also deal with these developmental issues. Yes. Yes. And Mr. Adoroji just told us that um, it doesn't seem like something that is feasible. Do you yeah. share the same thoughts? Yes, to an extent I do, but even beyond, beyond that, when we talk about um, ease of doing business, um, we shouldn't be so um, parochial. That is looking at government angle alone, talking about registration, regulations, and the rest of them. There are three critical areas we have to look at when we talk of ease of doing business. Aside from the first one we mentioned, which is the funding, yeah. The second one is um, infrastructure. Mm -hmm. It was on the news when I was coming this morning that um, our president was lamenting profusely that with our population of about 200 million, we are only generating about 4,000 megawatts, and even we are even <coughs> distributing less than that. It is so pathetic, right, that we cannot generate 30,000 megawatts in this country. If you want to set up an SME, you must be able, you, you must be ready to have a government of your own. You exactly. provide your water, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you provide your light, you provide your logistics, you provide your fund. It's into the supposed profit you should be making. Yeah, of course, it will erode right. your profits. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is number two. Mm -hmm. Then number three, which is the major elephant, right, that, um, that affects most SME, is activities of the small glass. Smugglers, copyright violators, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you struggle, you do a research, you produce this item, just one batch, you have produced only one batch. Before you need the following day, you see the whole market is flooded with your products or your supposedly products. Okay? So, not until we deal with all these three, right? We are not talking of ease of doing business. Yeah. A very important point here. Yeah, yeah, very, 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 very important point. Important. Mm. 
All right, then, um, now that we say, uh, now that you say these SM MSMEs are growing at an expected, would you say that they are growing at an expected rate? With all of those fundings, you did mention that um, the government, CBN, is doing something around, you know, giving them funds. Yeah. However, the enlightenment is not there yet. Yeah. But do you think they are growing at the expected rate that they should be growing in terms of, you know, the return on investments that it's that's going in? Yeah, we we are not growing at the rate we ought to to, to grow, yeah. right? If we were to be growing at that rate, we would not have this high level. Unemployment. We don't mm. have it. Mm. So we are not growing. We are not growing. Yes, yes, I agree we are growing, but not at the expected rate. Oh, that's very uh, interesting. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, another thing I want to add to the funding that uh, we said they are available or the information is not there. Even to assess those funds, it's not, it's not so yeah. seamless. It's not easy. The windows are there, the doors are there, but the keys are not easily accessible. <laughs> the doors are not easily accessible, the windows are not easily accessible. <laughs> the um, the, the, keys, the key, you know, the keys can't open. The, 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 are, the keys wrong. are compromised. Yeah. <laughs> when we are in the bank, we talk of a key compromising. Yeah. So the, the keys are not easily, they cannot open the door. Mm. Okay, that's, that's so, actually so that, very interesting. So they, they are there. Okay. But our people cannot assess those credits. They cannot assess those facilities yet. Okay. It's not easy to assess. So that would take us to a very important point. Yeah. The keys are there or they are compromised. The doors are there. The doors are there. So but what do we think is obtainable outside Nigeria? So let's start with you, Doc. Well, uh, let me just make a comment concerning uh, the, the whether PBEC is making impact, uh, whether it's... Uh, uh, improving the situation. You know, uh, in 2016, that was when uh, the present government came up with the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council. Mm -hmm. And if you look at what they intend to do, it's like in eight different uh, focus areas. They're looking at how to ensure that starting a business is easy, mm -hmm. how to register your property, how to easily get construction permit, electricity, access to credit, taxation, the trade across border, and, and the last which has to do with entry or exit of, uh, of people.